Hey guys, I'm Henry Flores. I'm the director of the Paso de Norte Paranormal Society. I uh, wanted to say hi and um, I'm, I'm going to do this little web video series thing because, uh, well, I get a lot of emails uh, from uh, other friends, different people from our website at ghost915.com and they're constantly asking, well, different questions about paranormal history and uh, other cool stuff. Uh, other weird questions too. Uh, you gotta forgive me, um, I had surgery yesterday and uh, I have to wear shades because sunlight actually burns. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a vampire now. I'm uh, doing this recording live from my house and pobrecito, huh? I'm right here at home, doing nothing, doing this web video thing and uh, you know, playing some pool right now. So after I'm done, game on, all right? I got a couple of questions that uh, got posted and sent to me at our email. And I wanted to take this opportunity to answer them right now because, well, I can't answer them all. And I thought maybe doing a couple of them right now would be pretty neat, you know. Um, plus, uh, I don't know, a different way, different uh, cool, unique way to post things. Now, about the society, what we do is, uh, yeah, we're a nonprofit organization. We do ghost tours here in uh, El Paso. We also do um, uh, private fundraising for other nonprofits that uh, need money like teams and organizations and historical landmarks uh, and we all give the money to that location because well you know we live in a time where we kind of need it you know we need all the help we can get and uh, we do our paranormal investigations throughout El Paso um, we've been doing this for quite some time it's a lot of fun and we do this because well we're passionate about it okay so let's get to our first question and uh, I'll go ahead and answer it for you so let's go ahead and take a look. Um, first one, this was a, a question about our ghost tours at Concordia. Now this says, are your ghost tours based on a book? And uh, the answer is yes. Uh, they are based on the book. And Concordia Cemetery Tours um, also are by the Concordia Heritage Association, all the, the uh, boys and girls over there. They're based off of a book called Concordia Cemetery a walkthrough, and it's by a local uh, um, author, bleh, a local author, her name is Dean Underwood. Very nice lady, very cool lady, and it's the history behind our tours is from that book and from uh, historical facts obtained by the Concordia Heritage Association uh, and the El Paso County Historical Commission. Uh, now, when we started doing tours at Concordia, we actually spend a night there, and there's a couple of times we've already done it, and we document all of our findings and present them during our ghost tours. Now, it's based off of these investigations, uh, eyewitness counts, and uh, testimonials from visitors, especially from the guards that take care of the place. Uh, now, recently, i got to adjust. Now, recently, I've been approached and told that uh, we at the society have competitors in the area. You might want to turn up the volume on this. Okay. We have competitors in the area. I always find it weird. Now, personally, I don't see other paranormal groups as a competitive edge because we're all because we're all different. We all have different types of agendas, but we have one thing in common. We're trying to find out the truth. That's it. We're trying to look for the truth. We're passionate about our hobby and this is what this is to us. It's a hobby. It's a form of public service. And we don't make money for ourselves. That's it. We're all professionals. Uh, some of us in the society are um, medical office specialists, work for retail. Okay. Uh, others are teachers and uh, other types of professionals. So it's not that we don't need the money, <laughs> you know, but we believe in karma. And karma is a bitch. So that's what we try to do. But I will end that uh, reply by saying this. I will not compete against death. If this is thought of as a competitive edge, I will not think of this in that way. I ain't going to compete for death because death will always win. Ta-da! So screw that. I don't give a shit. Let's keep going. All right. We got a couple of more questions. Uh, for example, let me read over here. Uh, Stephanie... Uh, from El Paso East Side, she writes, "Why do you only charge ten dollars for your ghost tours?" Okay. We only charge. Okay, well, Stephanie, first of all, thank you, thank you for your your comment. 
uh, from our Facebook page. And um, we only charge 10 bucks because the economy sucks. It's really bad right now. And I ain't going to charge or ask for more of a donation because, well, you know, we all need help. And we all want to still have a kind of budget to have some fun. And that's what we do. We have fun. And all of that money that's collected, you know, goes to Concordia Cemetery, goes to other nonprofit organizations, goes to security to pay for the place. So that's why we only charge 10 bucks. We like everybody to have fun. My hat keeps turning. <laughs> but we like everybody to have fun. That's why we only charge 10 bucks. All right. Um, also, Suzanne posted on Facebook, do you believe in using dowsing rods? Well, in a way, uh, dowsing rods have been used for, gosh, centuries, hundreds of years, uh, or even witching rods. And for the dowsing rods, some um, folks in the paranormal community use them to find water, use them to find an electricity source uh, if there isn't any. And when you hold them, you hold them not even a tight grip, just loosely in your hands. And those dowsing rods will start to move left and right if you're close by an energy source. And if they start making across this way, then that means you found something. It marks the spot. Okay, I'm not completely 100% uh, for dowsing rods. I did see them at ghost tours before, like in San Antonio, and they were used for fun. Um, but when you're out and about and you're doing an investigation, well, you use all of the equipment that you have. There's no guarantee science to this fun hobby, as I've said. So we tried the different avenues and uh, used different suggestions. Besides, you never know. It might work. Uh, also, Matthew from the Northeast. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of a weird one. Henry, why do you always wear a black hat? Um, well, uh, I used to rodeo. Uh, I used to be a radio DJ at Cat Country years ago. And I know it looked weird today because, you know, I had eye surgery and I wear the hat because uh, I was, I got married in this hat. And as an investigator, we always try to find or use some kind of amulet or uh, pr for protection or for um, uh, faith and holding on to something that means something to you. This is my protection. Okay. And I do have hair. <laughs> Um, I always get asked that. Do you have hair? Yes, I do. And I have some gray as well. Wait. There. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> that was a strange one. Now, we have our ghost tours at San Elisario uh, every first Saturday of the month. And uh, this is a lot of fun. You get to go inside the jail that Billy the Kid broke into. Interesting. And the weird part about that is we, we like to let the ladies go inside the jail first. Because, well, since there's ghosts in there of men, they haven't seen a woman in a long time, I'd give them attention too. But as they're going in, the K2s and the meters and our equipment start to go a little higher. You know, they start to go into the bridge of light, so to speak, always go to red. And when more men go in there, it's dead. There's nothing. I don't blame them at all. Also, we go into the Golden Eagle Gallery and tell you about the first Thanksgiving that happened there at San Elisario. That's every first Friday of the month. And Concordia Cemetery goes tours every first Saturday of the month and second Saturday of the month. Um, and all the proceeds go to Concordia Cemetery for preservation and restoration purposes. That's what we like to do. We like to take care of history. We like to preserve history as much as we can. And we've, we've uh, helped out other locations like the Aerial Tramway, the Franklin Mountain State Park, and uh, many other awesome locations and stuff, okay? If you have any questions, I'd like to answer them for you um, about paranormal history or even some uh, weird questions that I have gotten already. Um, you can email us at help at ghosts915.com. You can go to our website, ghosts915.com. Uh, join us at our Facebook and our Twitter, or Twitter, or whatever thing they call it nowadays. And um, again, my name is Henry, and we will see you soon. Thank you so much.